This is Erin Green wishing you and your family happiness, peace, and mangoes this holiday season and throughout the new year from Guardian Radio 96.9 FM. The views and opinions of the hosts and guests are their own and do not necessarily reflect the position of the management and staff of Guardian Network. Good morning this morning and welcome back to Guardian Radio 96.9 FM, your station for fresh news, smart talk all day. It's Friday, 16th of December, 2022, and you are on the clock with Erin Green on the Sports Friday with Eric Sawyer. As we wait for Mr. Sawyer to get to the studio, I got a couple of things to talk about. First of all, I hope you all like that song by Bradley Dean, Mommy No Light. I am releasing my cover of this song this Christmas. It's uh, called Mommy No Light on the Corner, Mommy No Light in the Road. And you think, you may think that that is a critique of the Village Road Improvement Project or of the government's wildly unrealistic timeline for the project, but it's not. Just before Mr. Sawyer gets here, I'd like to talk about the news and politics, but not when Mr. Sawyer is here, because we talk sports. Mr. Sawyer and I like to row, but only about sports and whether I'm actually funny. That's it. Uh, so while I'm waiting for him, I got a little bit of housekeeping. Let's start here. BPL ends deal with what's in but fair over staff training. Now that's a headline in today's Tribune. We'll get to that in a bit. There's another headline. Erka satisfied BPL made case for fuel charge hikes. But before we get there, I got a couple of special things to talk about. First of all, I have to say happy birthday to Charmaine from Island Hole Sale. Happy belated birthday. Your birthday was yesterday. I miss it, but every time I come to Island Hole Sale, me and my wallets have a good time. So you guys are just awesome staff down there. And I'm glad that John made sure that Charmaine had a happy, happy birthday. Also, happening tonight, anytime Paul and Tanya Hannah are performing, I got to let you guys know jazz. Uh, they are just jazz legends in the country. And they're performing tonight at Jazz Fest in the Gardens at Premier Kuro Gladstone Road. That's tonight. Paul and Tanya Hannah and the United Band. It starts at 6 and ends at 9, so you can get home nice and safe. I got another quick news story. Police searching for missing women and man in separate incidents. Police are searching for a 49-year-old Acklands woman and a 63-year-old Boston man who went missing this week in separate incidents. And it just made me think... Do you know like how we have Bashra? Like Bashra is like sort of private sector, it's not government. We have, we have an agency of, I think, essentially volunteers who will go out and search for people, you know, see rescue. Do we have a sort of private sector, a civil society group of people that will go and look for missing people? Do we provide training, right? Like will we train citizens to be able to assist in these searches and the proper protocols? Do we invite private citizens to, to come in with their dogs and determine whether their dog can be trained uh, to also work with a missing persons unit? I think that's a good idea. Producer, if they call, let's try it. Let's try the lines. Oh, boy. Listen, if you guys are trying to call the show, trying to call the station, any show today, they're working on the lines. They're trying to get it, uh, trying to get it working. I want to say, just keep trying, because I can just keep trying myself. Okay. 
Still waiting a little bit for Mr. Sawyer to get here. In the interim, the text line is 422-GR96. That's 422-4796. The text said, great show as usual. Ms. Green, could you tell the Bahamian people this holiday, please don't drink and drive because y'all don't know how to drive when y'all ain't drinking. Imagine when you drink in. It's more than that, Texter. I would like to tell the Bahamian public, stop turning left on red. The government say you can't turn left on red unless there's a sign at the intersection indicating you could turn left on red. Now listen, they don't mean a sign from, they don't mean a sign from Jesus. They don't mean a sign from the Vatican, you know, when they choosing a new pope and they put up, they don't mean that. Now, to be honest with you, I don't know what type of sign they mean. Because nobody has actually told us what we should be looking for. But the point is to stop turning left on red. And for the love of all that is holy, stop turning right on red. Stop turning right on red on Mackey Street and Shirley Street intersection. Just stop doing it. You ain't cool. You ain't savvy. You ain't getting ahead of the fray or the crowd. You're just perpetuating recklessness and stupidness. And I get a sense that you don't, you don't even, see this is what it is. You don't even respect your own power. You don't understand how your behavior impacts the whole. How much power you have to shift culture. The question is always this. I tell you what, as a Hasty and a Mitchell, you must remember to always use your power for good and not for evil. I still can't believe we halfway through December 2022 and all of these people think they could just get, continue to get away with turning right on red at the Mackey and Shirley Street intersection. <laughs> no, we're not going to be. Good morning, sir. Good morning to Mr. Eric Sawyer III. How you do? Good morning. Sorry I'm late. You See, know, now people. By day I, 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 by day, I got meetings, so we had one first thing this morning. Yes, I know. Sorry you, about that. You are a businessman by day and a superhero oh. by night. Super duper nine of fine. What was I was about night. to say, because the only reason to be. At the top of their division right now is it's because, because we beat everybody. Because you ain't bathed. And I want because to tell the I people. I bathed. I bathed. Oh, that's, that's what the superpower is. When I you bathed. bathe, they win. When I bathe twice, they win. I got you. And I bathed twice. Yes. See, because I'm wondering if I, could, if I could harness the power of halitosis to stop crime. <laughs> I got to teach you how to do that. Some of y'all is harnessing to commit crimes. I'm going to think about it to stop crime. Anyway, I was very happy that you were a little late this morning. Not so I could talk politics, you know. Okay. But so there'll be less raggy in, of the dolphins less from the raggy 49ers. In. Today yeah. is the day we bury the dolphins. Let's no, bury their but... season. Let's bury their chances. They're playing tomorrow. They're playing the Bills tomorrow in Buffalo, in the cold. They're going to lose again. Now, let me ask you. straight losses. Let me ask you a question. Why are they playing on a Saturday? Because I, I, well, I saw this note. As, some, the, some, as the season winds down, they yeah. try to get in as many games as they can during the holiday season. And, you know, so. Okay. So, so it'll fall. Some games fall on a Saturday. Because somebody, he was euphoric. He was like, look here. From today straight, um, I think Thursday night, straight mm -hmm. through the weekend, Loan every day, loan football. Loan football, loan fo even football at the at, at 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 the national stadium today. Yeah, yeah, the college. We got a ball game to, today. Listen, yeah, twelve o'clock free of charge. I need you all to understand something. This weekend is actually a jam pack with events. We got the fifth Don't Blink Home Run Derby in Paradise. Yeah. yeah, it began on Wednesday. Yeah. And the main event, first of all, a live rake and scrape band. They have baseballers. That's the main event, the rake and that, scrape. That's what people are going for. Yeah. Everybody can see one or two ball hit, but everybody waiting to dangle. Yeah, yeah. December 17th, that's tomorrow at 12 p.m. It returns to Montague for sure. Uh, I think we missed on Wednesday and on Thursday there were events as the kids camp. Um, but we got Saturday. Uh, it, the, the event is the brainchild 
of pro baseball players Lucius Fox and Todd Isaacs Jr. Bo Bichette of the Toronto Blue Jays won the first one in 2018, repeated as a champion in 2019. Miami Marlins outfielder Lewis Brinson captured the title in 2020, and Kansas City Royals catcher, catcher, MJ Melendez was the most recent winner in 2021. Then there's the college football teams are ready for the Bahamas yeah. Bowl. That's what you, that's the title of the story, so you guys could go look for the details. So the teams arrived on Monday. Yeah. They had a little beach fun. Yeah, they had some fun. Everybody been having some fun. The University of, Ala- of Alabama at Birmingham Blazers and Miami Red Hawks are going to be playing at the Thomas A. Robinson National, National Stadium. Starts at 12. On Friday, yeah. Mm, I leave and work a little early today. today. You're going to go enjoy it, eh? Yeah, man, free of charge. Why not just y'all, walk in? Yeah, y'all go and enjoy. This is seventh edition of the Bowl. Started in 2014. Um, and it will be carried live on ESPN. It will be. So, dear Bahamians, if you're supposed to be at work, and you yeah. didn't um, find a clever excuse to go, for formally cut your leg off and send a picture to your boss, don't, don't get catch on camera. Don't get catch on this camera. Is, see, this is going to be, when we talk about culture, we bring in sports tourism here. This is a part of the culture we got to get used to. You can't duck wait to go to these events if they're going to be internationally televised. No, that's not wise. That's not right. wise at all. That's, 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 that's the opposite of wise. Right. Because you could be like, well, Zedna saying could be there, I safe. Your, part, your boss is, and your partners watch ESPN at work. Everyone watches ESPN. It's a part of life. Trust me. Okay, another big event happening this weekend. Hoop Fest in Paradise. Uh, the Hoop Fest in Paradise High School basketball tournament is slated to be held at the Kendall G. L. Isaacs National Gymnasium today and tomorrow. The event is uh, anticipated to bring between 500 and 600 attendees from the U.S. More sports tourism. Targeting More youth. Sports tourism. Yes, targeting youth basketball mm. enthusiasts mm. and high school students along with their families and friends. Um, they are also going to be scouts. From the NBA there. Okay, okay, this is what we need. Yes. This is, if, if nothing else, they can have a look at our facilities, yeah. have a look at what we have to um, deal with um, R&R, yeah. and, say, and say to their teams, hey, listen, we could go to the Bahamas and rest yeah. and recuperate a little, you know. And so one of the arguments for basketball pushing forward in the race to the national sport is in the, in the present moment and in the future, the ability, that space to mobilize young athletes and young student athletes, right? You, you may not hit the NBA as a player on the court, but you may hit the NBA as a statistician. As a scout. As a PT, physical therapist. Yeah, something. Right? Anyway, it's just an exciting time. Mm-hmm. I even, in fact, you know what? I've been to the thrift store and I buy tape. I don't know what I could use it for. Probably the tape of my knee and pretend to be the, sporty. Or you, you, you got the athletic tape. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, now I can find something athletic to do. Yeah. But I in that spirit. Right. And I, I, mean, I mean, you're pretty good at running your mouth. There too. you go. There you go. And I'm sure somebody can tape that right up. <laughs> it's just a wonderful time to be here. Yeah. Things to do, especially if you are a sports fan and especially if you are a parent. We had college basketball here the other day. We have college football here now. Women and men we basketball. Had, we had baseball the other day. Yeah, yeah. In fact, listen, you know, here's another swimming. story. Bahama Junior Tennis Clinic, a huge success. Third annual Bahama Cup was held this past weekend. And on the final day of the cup, uh, the young kids were invited to participate in a free tennis clinic. They played with uh, professionals like world number three in singles and doubles, Jessica Pegula. James Blake, former world number four, and Milos Ranoik, former world number three. In the uh, world, yeah. Yeah, yeah. There's an exhibition game on Saturday, and uh, that was led by Again, tennis stars Andy Roddick, former world number one, and Leighton Hewitt, former world number one, James Blake, Mark Knowles, and Jessica Pegula. And our, I think our Bahamian, um, is it Mark Knowles? Yeah. Anyway, our, our, our world-class tennis player. Yeah, boy, I remember Mark Knowles and Danny Nesta, boy. Yeah. World-class doubles doubles champions yeah. back in the day. And this is, a, a, I think, a part of this is their initiative. 
the uh ooh, another story roadrunners track club hosts 22nd annual awards banquet on saturday again uh roadrunners track club led by president and head coach dexter bodie hosted their annual presentations and awards banquet for their athletes uh, it was Atlantis and presented under the esteemed patronage of three of the club's young female coaches, Edvania Missick, Stephanie Stubbs, and Kristen Black. The Timothy Ingram Honor Roll Award recognized those student athletes who achieved a GPA of 3.0 and higher. And there were several awards such as the Most Improved Athlete, Best Male and Female Athlete, and Athlete of the Year. It's a lot going on. A lot going on and, all the time. And I love it. It's a lot going on for young people as well, right? Um, but I'm going to get through some of this local news quickly because we got uh, plenty to... Oh, we got plenty to talk about. Um, Steph Curry injured. Football, football. No. Aiden injured. Aiden injured. Westbrook um, feelings Westbrook injured. Westbrook feels like he's a superstar when he knows he's a star of the second team now. I... Ah, oh boy. But, I mean, <sighs> look here. This is a lesson for senior athletes, right? How do you get in and fit in when you've proven yourself, yes. but now you age in, right? Yes. Yeah. It's just, a big, big discussion. Just, just, you need, just need to understand your role, man. And I think that the best teams provide an environment where the players could work it out. Look at the Spurs for years. The Spurs yeah. did that for nearly 30 years. You know, Everybody knew their role. Yeah. The minute you didn't know your role, we got you. Right. What would you like about the Spurs is you like that West Indian boy, Tim Duncan. Lone fundamentals. Like, you might as well have been playing he, with your coach from high school. He didn't know anything else but fundamentals because he learned the game in grade 12. He, yeah. didn't know, he didn't know the game, you know. He was a free-fall diver from UVI, from USVI. Wow. He just used to dive off of cliffs. And somebody looked at him and said, well, you're really long, you know. We need to put you on a court. Boom, go on the week for First of all, I can't believe his Grammy used to let him dive off of cliffs. That's the thing to do in USVI. Yeah, I get it. That guy, I mean, a lesson to all young people throughout uh, basketball is focus on the fundamentals. Yeah, man, it'll get you places. Right, man. flashiness will get you on magazine covers, but fundamentals will get you to in the, the Hall of Fame, the finals, and winning every year. Well, he lost. He lost. He Couple. Lost. He lost. He lost to LeBron. But he's. But because he was 75 when LeBron was like 19. Well, I, mean, I think that's a fair assessment. That's, that's, that's either here nor there. <laughs> so listen, the Chani Challenge is back on. Uh, it will now be held on January 28th after the initial date of December 3rd was scrapped. They say as not to conflict with a number of other events, but really I wasn't going to be, I couldn't, um, I wasn't going to be fit by December 3rd. At least now I have a chance to catch the Chikchani. At least you do. Yeah. At least you do. They but they have Chikchani uh, uh, runners. Don't slunk. Don't let this Christmas dinner fool you. Don't eat Christmas dinner and forget to train. Yeah, please. Yeah, yeah. Eat the dinner, catch a little piece of itis. And yeah, wake yeah. Up. Go outside. So listen, we got to say uh, congratulations to uh Bahamian team in Australia. Team Bahamas at the FINA World Swimming Federation. This but is we 16. Doing things everywhere, man. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Which is why, without a doubt, the government can say, listen, it's warranted we're spending this much money on sports. Yeah. It's I mean, warranted. You know, there's results. In fact, they have an obligation. The government has an obligation mm -hmm. to provide an environment where, A, people could make the choices they want to make. And now that they've chosen to play sports, you got to make sure they have the facilities that they need to drive that sport. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. So we have ourselves a nice swimming pool now. Yeah. The baseball stadium is up and running. Yeah. And I hear say it's world class. I haven't been in as yet, but I hear say it's world class. We got the track stadium. World relays on the way back. Yeah. Bahamas games next year. Mm -hmm. Yeah. College basketball is still here. And I about to start building the national official parking court. How you, you could have that? Bahama games without parking? Well, but it can be a court. You can need some grass because, you know, when you're when a you lot of rolling. Roll, yeah. yeah, yeah, a lot of rolling. Yeah, yeah, yeah man, you got to I duck. got you. Yeah, yeah. I, my biggest problem could be sorting out the insurance for that. <laughs> so, well, yeah. well, you can't get insurance for that. That's Not what I was about to say. <laughs> like, you got to wear a helmet. And goggles. And, and goggles. And when you put your children in on the bicycle and you buy the wrist uh, brace and the elbow pad and the chin brace. Yeah, man, all of that. All of that. We can eat all of that. We can eat all of that. 
Yeah, absolutely. You can't just come out there under. In fact, I don't think we're letting any children play park in. Uh, we're going to need all of them um, equipments. Yeah. So listen, Victoria Russell, Luke uh, Kennedy, Thompson, Lamar, Taylor, and Renishka Gibbs are representing the Bahamas in Australia in the pool. Um, and then champions crowned at the Father Marcian <laughs> tournament. Back Father Marcian still back? It's still here? Peter's basketball tournament oh. has returned to action. Champions were crowned in five divisions at the 34th tournament. Wow. 34th tournament uh, on Tuesday at uh, KGL Isaac's gym. Securing a win in the senior girls division was C.V. Bethel Senior High School Stingrays. They took down the C.R. Walker Senior High School Knights 31-26. to uh, A 13-0 run to start the game was all that the Jordan Prince William Falcons needed to control the court against the Telio School Cherubims in the junior boys division. In another GSSSA basketball matchup, H.O. Nash Junior High School Lions took care of the C.H. Reeves Junior High School Raptors, 46, um, 51 in the junior girls division. In the primary school boys division, Harbor Island All-Age School took the trophy. They Them fellas like seven feet tall and 12, you know. <laughs> Uh, but it's something wrong with them fellas from, from, from Bradley, man. Them fellas be big, son. Look how we're going to have to start our uh, uh, sports academy residential school in Harbor Island. No, I mean, them fellas in Harbor Island, big. You think bro. it's the pink sign? I, 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 it's, a, it's a combination of the pink sign and the fact that they play ball in a bar. And the basketball court is in a bar. The basketball court is in, in the Vicom. There's no roof. <laughs> Wow. Yeah, there's no roof, so there's no reason for them to not grow. Yes, they they, there you grow. go. There you like a plant. Yeah. But look here, we gotta go to a break, Mr. Okay, Sawyer. Okay, okay, okay. You heard my new um track? What's that? Uh Mommy No Light on the Corner, Mommy No Light in the Road. It's a cover of a Bahamian classic. Oh yeah? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> We got to go to a break. You stay tuned. When we get back from the break, I think maybe one or two more. Yeah, one or two more local stories. Then, Mr. Sawyer, I know you got big football news, right? Big, big football. But news. Argentina brought Bush medicine to the World Cup, and the Caribbean black people have already won. We don't mind that Morocco is out. Argentina <laughs> representing. Guys, we go into a break. When we get back from the break, more sports news with Mr. Eric Sawyer the third. We'll be right back. And on that note, it says, Mommy, no light in the kitchen. So we make new arrangement. <laughs> I used to think of the bank as my personal ATM machine. If I wanted a new car, new furniture, a weekend trip to Miami, no problem. Just max out the credit card or top up my loan. I was a big baller until I realized that 75% of my salary was going to pay back all those loans. Fidelity's personal financial coaching was the best solution. Fidelity gave me a plan with a debt consolidation loan that has a built-in savings that pays 5% interest. I now only have one low monthly payment, plus money in my pocket. Give Fidelity Bank a call at 356-7764 in Nassau or 352-6676 in Freeport. Visit any of Fidelity's locations or visit a website at fidelitygroup.com. Love the show? Want to give your support? Become a sponsor today. Call 302-2300 for our rates and packages. That's 302-2300. Become a sponsor on Guardian Radio 96.9 FM. Fresh news, smart talk, all day. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year, everybody, from Talking Heads, right here on Guardian Radio 96.9 FM. See you in the new year. Was this woman in the grove who had some hair? 
All right, welcome back to On the Clock with Aaron Green and Mr. Eric Sawyer the Third. Okay, just two quick uh, stories. Very sad news, in fact. One last piece here. Veteran national team player Zella Brown Simonette, perhaps the greatest female shortstop who won numerous championships in the New Providence Softball Association and the Bahamas Government Departmental Softball Association passed away on Tuesday. Oh, man. Very sad news yeah. for the softball world and the sporting world as a whole. Also, uh, Bahamas community mourning death of Rodney Johnson. The basketball community is mourning the loss of this former long-time and smartly dressed coach and referee Rodney E.C. Johnson, who made his contribution to the game at every level. Uh, the former player with the Third Street Boys, Docs Pharmacy, and the BDP Rattlers, and an executive in the NP Old Timers Softball Association, passed away on Monday at the age of 76. Uh, just, you know, just sad news. And we say condolences to the family. Um, just before we get to the soccer news, Warriors dominate first round of soccer competition. The Warriors have amassed 25 points. Uh, position in second place is United FC with 19 points. University of the Bahamas third with 18. Insurance management bears and 17 FC are tied for fourth with 15 points. Sixth is Dynamos FC with 14. Future Stars seventh with 11 points. And Renegades are eighth. With 10 points, Baha, Baha Juniors FC are ninth with three points, and Cavalier FC bring up the rear with zero points. Okay, World Cup standings. Now, Mr. Soy, I just say, and we're going to start with this because this is the real football and not the American football. So if you were watching in the World Cup, the semifinals, Argentina beat Croatia 3-0. Yeah, and, and really it wasn't even that close. Yeah. It wasn't, it wasn't really that close. Like the score really isn't a um, reflection of the play. Yeah, of the play. Like the like the ball handling and the control. The fact yeah. that the ball was out of Croatia's hands or feet, you know, out of their possession. Yeah. You know, like the ball was definitely with Argentina the entire game. They they chose to to only score three. Yeah. See, and Messi Messi got a big uh, thing on his show. He got to bring back a yeah, World this, Cup. That's the only one that he doesn't have. Like yeah. this the only award he doesn't have. He has a Ballon Ballon d'Or. He, yeah, he has League One. He he has Euro League. Yeah, he, he, you know he has everything else except this. And with this, the fans that are big fans of uh, Diego Maradona, you know, he passed a few years yeah. ago. He is like God to Argentina when it comes to soccer. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So you know, if Messi gets this, he'll be on a level. Yeah, and just before be we go. Argentina's World Cup team brought eleven hundred pounds of an herbal drink loved by Messi to Qatar. Yeah. I just 1,100 say, pounds? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. The, the Argentina brought 1,100. What kind of tea is this? It's called yerba, uh, yerba mate. We find it in some of our stores locally. It, oh, I don't think it's indigenous. Say, it sounds like marijuana. Yeah, it's not indigenous <laughs> to the Bahamas. But you know, if that's what that was, they wasn't letting them play that. Um, yeah, no. They's going to disqualify them. But listen, Brazil brought 26 pounds of the drink. Uruguay brought 530 pounds uh, not to be outdone, uh, though Argentina traveled with more than double what Uruguay had. Uh, and so I would like to say this. Dear Nigeria, remember the story last week where Nigeria said Ghana used black magic to win by changing the stadium? Apparently, Africans aren't the only people who believe in bush medicine and things like that. At least maybe it's just me. Yeah. <laughs> but Brazil only brought 26 and they get kicked out dead early. Yeah, well, I mean... Uruguay, same way. Yeah, they got kicked out in the, um, in the group stage, is it? I think group 16, yeah. uh, the 16 group, round. Group, yeah, group, round, group, 16. round 16. Round yeah. Um, anyway, that, I just, that just tickled me. Uh, sad news, reporter, sports reporter Grant Wall died of a ruptured aortic aneurysm at the World Cup, his wife says. Yeah, man, I saw says. that. That's the boy who did, like, the first story on LeBron James. Mm -hmm. Like, people were asking why LeBron feel he need to talk about this boy death. Because, A, the reporters That's asked literally. him. And, B, this one of the biggest moments for LeBron. Mm -hmm. This was his first story. Ever. Recognizing him as a phenom. 16 years old. Yeah, man. We could be understand yeah, so He that. never forgot the reporter that came to him first. Yeah, so listen. Oh, I see where we are. Uh, it's too much time, though, because I just feel like you're going to beat up on the Dolphins. Too much time. Come, come, come. Finals. Come, hurry, hurry up. So 
Finals, right. Argentina versus France. Yeah. Sunday, Sunday the 18th, 10 a.m. Okay. Well, Morocco I, versus I, Croatia. I may miss the beginning of that match. Yeah. Got to mm. be in church, you know. There you go. You there you good. Go. There you go. And you got to pray for the 49ers because what's coming pray, for them? Pray. Wait, well, anyway, go on. Hurry your finish. The Hurry third finish. place match is Saturday the 17th at 10 a.m. That's the third place Morocco versus Croatia. Okay. Uh -huh. NFL, week 14 scores. Week 14 scores. Go through them quickly. Steelers versus the Ravens. The Ravens one, eked yeah. out by two points, yeah. 16 to 14. Yeah. Dolphins versus Chargers, 17 oh, to 23. The Dolphins took another close. loss, two in a row. And, not, and, and you know why the Dolphins are getting beat? Yeah, why? You know why they're getting beat? Why? Because we, are show, we showed the league how you beat the Dolphins. Tyreek Hill and Jalen Waddle are great wide receivers. They're very fast, yeah. very speedy. What we did is we dropped our linebackers back in coverage. Uh -huh. right? So instead of playing five, six yards from the ball, uh -huh. we're playing 15 to 20 yards from the ball. Okay. So now we have everything in the front of us. We're not letting these guys get behind us. And our safeties and our corners are pinning them. If they do manage to get behind, they're pitting out. Now, it's hard to stop Tyreek Hill, as evidenced by his nine-catch, 146-yard performance against us. right? But it wasn't 15 catches for 221. You know, he's good for those kind of numbers. I just, I we just fell back it. into coverage and yeah. made the Dolphins come to I us mean, as opposed to us having to chase the Dolphins. Yeah. I mean, what I'm saying is them. this boy didn't just talk about how he beat us. He had to claim that he teach the whole rest of the league how to beat us too. Yes, because, see, the student is currently the Dolphins, sorry, Sardians head coach, Mike McDaniel. The teacher is the 49ers head coach, Kyle Shanahan. So student y'all know what's in his head. Teacher. Student can never be teacher. I mean, we're going to try that again. Now, this is the most important thing, mm -hmm. right? That the Dolphins season is finished? Did the 49ers secure their place at the top of the NFC West We last won our night? division last night. The score was 21 to 13. It wasn't even that close. Shout out to the Niner gang, those that are listening. Nashi and Winston. And I mean, 21 and, to 13 is the, very close, though, Mr. Soy. It's it not wasn't like that close. We, kneel, we kneeled at the end of the game. There was a touchdown. That There was a pick six that they called back because of a rough in the pass penalty. That wasn't a rough in the pass on Nick Bosa. That could have been 28 to 6 at that point. We could have scored another touchdown at the end of the game. We took two knees to end the game. Mercifully. I mean, or, or to prevent unnecessary injury? Mercifully, we took a knee. The running back ran the ball down the way. Our backups was in, you know, and running the ball. Okay, so listen, 49ers, secu 49ers secured the top of their division. We are at the top of our division. Nobody could beat you no matter what they do. We could never go no no better than third seed. Well, actually, fourth seed. Okay. Fourth seed. If we lose every game outright and the uh, Bucks win. No, actually, no, we can't do no worse than third seed because we beat the Bucs. And that, is that an automatic in? Though, the, we are playoffs. automatically in. All right. And now and now we have 10 days to get even more healthier. We can sit our starters if we want. We can play them just to keep them loose. How we, much, okay, so how much has the bye week influenced or impacted teams, right? Like, just like you say. Yeah, man. By playing on, on this bye. Thursday, y'all got 10 days. That's not even a bye week. You got 10 that's days off bye. to rest. Yeah. How has that impacted teams? Uh, as some, have some teams gone too cold and not been able to crank it back up? It's true. Yeah. It's true. But um, in our case, we've been playing the next man up concept. Right now, we have 10 days to get fellas that were injured, that were a little bit beat up, some time to rest. Right. Kyle Shannon has given all, all, all members of the team and staff the next two days off. The next time we meet will be Sunday. Okay, look here. Pause. I got a text here, and I got to get to this text, Mr. Sawyer. It's okay. not sports related, oh, but it's okay. important. Okay. Good morning, Miss Green. You, you always make my day, so you got to do this for me. Big happy birthday to Paulie Dorset over at Dorsets in the Grove from all of the Dorf, Dorsets. Uh, Dorset Foods, huh? With Bluff Elutra roots. I think so. Okay. You just go there. I've been there, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah man. Paulie Dorset, I hope you having a wonderful. Yeah, man. Boy, they, Happy listen, cake and ice cream day. I given you permission to tote because it's Christmas and these people don't like let you tote. They, you know, because it's like, oh, it's Christmas. Oh, I mean, are you want a birthday gift or you want a Christmas gift? I want all. I want it all, man. <laughs> I get in one of these little um, stores, these little houseware stores. And yeah. I go get me some Tupperware and uh -huh. just have it in my boxy. Listen. Just have it in the boxy. 
that's called, that's like when you get an American Express and you get like a, a black card, yeah. like a, a high-tech card. Because mm -hmm. me, I just a little low-tech. I am, um, I you carry your foil. zip lock. Okay. I'm smart. Yeah. No mess. It don't spill. Right. And it takes the shape of your bag so security can't really feel up your bag <laughs> and see you toting. Ah, oh, boy. Listen, Miss Dorset, have a great day. Yeah, man, have day. a great day. So I got a text for you. Great show as usual. Tell your guests, football was never the same after Dion Sanders and Jerry Rice retired prime time, the living legend. Is that the same Dion Sanders who's coaching? Is that who's coaching? That ju who, who just got a job with the University of Colorado. Yeah, man, he did well for Jackson State, put them on the map, spent his own money to get those fellas yeah. uniforms and got an HBCU team literally on the map. Were they, they were undefeated the whole season? They were undefeated the whole season. And listen, so Dion Sanders is the truth. This is and right? Oh he is the truth. And when he came yeah. to University of Colorado, his one his one he had two words to say to the entire team. Everything that he had to say, he said, I'm coming. Yeah. He said, Listen, all of the uh talk of your guys failing, listen, I'm coming. Man. All of the talk of having phones in my meetings. Yeah. I wish you bring a phone to my meeting. I'm coming. This is great. Everything was, I'm coming. When See, he, fell, he said, all is slouching in my meeting. Oh I had to let you know, I'm coming. This is great. Yeah, Dear text, it turns out that you could be correct. Like, I, yeah, I, I agree Rice with this. Jerry is the best wide receiver, and Deion Sanders is the best cornerback to ever play the game but, of football. And, and this is proven because he's teaching young people how to be the best. Yeah. He'd take a struggling team to undefeated in one but, season. But, uh, two, seasons. two seasons. Two seasons? That's amazing. Now, the fallout is... People feel like he just got the team going, and now he's abandoning them. But well, he said he was the, the, always in that mode. Well, Jackson State caused that, you know, because they got some monies from um, sponsors and, you know, um, donators yeah. that they never put on the books. So the would say, hey, listen, I, I'm trying to be a part of this, you know. Oh, yeah, he's I love my protect. players, yeah, but yeah. I love myself more. Of all of my mama's children... I love me the best. Can't be around here. Bread Favre in it. No, yeah, no, no. Can't no. Bread Favre it. No. All right. One more. Happy belated 81st. Look here. We have a date. You have to go right back to work because we got a date. To the late baby boy role remembered by his twin grandsons, Daryl and Dario. Okay. All right. That's great. No, man. That's yeah, awesome. You can't forget. You can't forget. Can't yeah, forget and I Rambi. send a happy birthday to my beloved um, past... Bubbles, my Aunt Helen Mitchell, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, man. In fact, Mr. Soy, I know we're talking sports, but, but at the last week of this year, I want to do a show that's dedicated to honoring our loved ones that have passed, right? And I can let people just call in and call their name. Mm -hmm. And if you want to tell a story, don't tell a story that could get people who are alive locked up. Like, you could tell a story that they would have gotten locked up for if they were still alive, yeah. but don't misprotect <laughs> the guilty who thought they was innocent. Let's not do that. But yeah, give people a that. space yeah. to do that. Okay. Back to week 14. My heart is still broken. Look here. They playing my song again. We got to go to a break, Mr. Yeah. Soy. When we get back from the break, week 14, and then what to look forward to in week 15. And then we got NBA stories. NBA stories. I yeah. was surprised at the spread this week. But you guys stay tuned. We will be right back. Remember when Zoom was just a sound effect? When your living room wasn't your gym? When a cough didn't scare people away? That was the good old days. And thankfully, they are coming back. As things return to normal, remember it is essential to be fully immunized against all vaccine preventable diseases like COVID-19, diphtheria, tetanus, measles, and influenza. This message is brought to you by PAHO WHO, the Ministry of Health and Wellness, the Caribbean Development Bank, the Government of Canada, and the United States of America. Love the show? Want to give your support? Become a sponsor today. Call 302-2300 for our rates and packages. That's 302-2300. Become a sponsor on Guardian Radio 96.9 FM. Fresh news, smart talk, all day. 
This is Dwight Strawn with Morning Blend. On behalf of the crew and my co-hosts, I wish you all a very Merry Christmas and an incredibly blessed and prosperous New Year. Good morning and welcome back. We got to get into this NFL news before the end. Yeah, man, let's talk about the Niners. Let's talk about the NFC West champion San Francisco 49ers. We did it again. Okay. We did it with our third string rookie quarterback. We did it after our starting quarterback went down and after his back. Hold on, you're playing down. with your third string quarterback? Third string rookie quarterback, Brock Purdy, a rookie quarterback. Oh, this boy going to have a great, great holiday season. Okay. Yeah, man. So, listen, I got a text for you. Ask Eric what he thought about the blatant, horrible roughing the passer call against Jalen Phillips. Jalen Phillips. He should remember that play. Terrible call against the Finns. Yeah, it was a terrible call. It was a bad call. But, I mean, it's the same. It's the same thing. Y'all, 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 um, Finns. Finns down, eh? Sardians, by the way. The, um... <laughs> Sardians have been getting calls at the beginning of this year, left, right, and center. In their favor. I, in their favor. There have been pick plays that have gotten Jalen Waddle open and Tyreek Hill open that were clearly pick plays down the field that should never have happened because anything past two yards from the line of scrimmage is not allowed to happen. Uh, like, uh -huh. When you pick in a player off as they cross it in front of you, and they did that at the beginning of the year. And everything was great to throw in Samoan. And, but you listen, but you see us right there. We face in the AFC. We have the best record in the AFC. I mean, we're still now the like, best in the AFC. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> listen, last week 14 looked like a game of defense. Week 14 looked like the team with the best defense is the team that won. Oh, oh you mean the Niners? I guess so. Best defense. We're first in every Every top statistical defense. I got category. a text ahead that's asking you, what is the news on Lamar Jackson's injury? Uh, he can be out again another week. You know, we'll see how it go. What about this play, Odell Beckham Jr.? Is he ever going to play football this season? He's I don't think he can play this Now, year. how is that going to impact his uh, his season next year? You think he can get on the field? You yeah. Think yeah, a team man. Could take him? Yeah, man. He need a year to recover. That, that ACL injury happened in February of this year. Okay. Um, yes, he is an athlete, but even athletes need 10 to 12 months to recover. He's trying Jazz. to come back in nine. Jazz Chisholm, you hear that? Yeah, Jazz needs to rest that back. Yeah, don't do that. Like, if you plan on playing in the World Series for Great Britain, don't do, represent the Bahamas, mm -hmm. don't do nothing to hit your back, buddy. Okay, uh, Steelers, Ravens, I said 14-16. Cowboys, Texans, 27-23. They almost lost that game. Boy, them Cowgirls, oh, man. Boy, listen to me. If they lost that game, if they did lose. But listen, I look at how oh, that the, me. the Cowboys oh. are 10 and 3 after that win, and still the Eagles lead that division. And still. And they lead in the whole league. And 12 the Eagles play in the girls next week. Oh, boy. They play I the listen, listen, I can get raggy. And the, girl, and the girls signed T.Y. Hilton last week. Okay. That's a Monday. bad thing? No, that's a great wide receiver for the Colts. I don't understand how the Colts let him go. I got you. Yeah, yeah. So watch this. Uh, oh, yeah. Week 15. Steelers five and eight playing the Panthers, who are also five and eight. Yeah, who cares? Cowboys ten and three playing the Jaguars five and eight. I hope the Jags beat them. The Jags are definitely on the up and up. Chiefs ten and three leading their um, division oh, versus the Texans. What's the chance that the Chiefs win this game? Um, about the same chance that um, I have it smelling good right now because I have one cologne. So they can. I, I smell you. Yeah, thanks. Yeah, yeah. Dear Texans, just don't go. Don't go. <laughs> Let your bus break down in no, the man, middle of they, the desert. They had a good game last week against the girls. Yeah. They almost won. One last drive at the end of the game. You know. Yeah. All they had to do was put together one stop. So this is this is uh yeah. th this record is a bit of an illusion. It's sort of like our voting. Yeah, Even man. though mm. you get a large percentage of seats, that don't mean you got all the votes. All right, uh, Dolphins playing the Bills. This is going to be a rough one for me. Oh, I couldn't even take last Sunday. Oh, oh, the Bills going to supplant the Dolphins. They can take them above the ground, put them in cold water. And, and you know. But this is going to be an exciting Dolphins game within the division, the right? This is going to be an exciting yeah, game, yeah, 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 man. Yeah. Tomorrow night, 
I listen. I I can't understand how we, the Dolphins, are eight and five, and the Buccaneers are six and seven, and leading that division. Because that's their division. Their division horrible, isn't it? Their division is but horrible. But that's good this year. because it means that the Dolphins could even come second in the division and have a good chance of getting to get into the playoffs. I, I mean, mean, if they, they weren't the Dolphins. Uh, like, yeah, I, I mean, they weren't the Sardians exactly. Like yeah, the yeah. Jets look good in their division. Okay. Um, and the Patriots still have a chance. Who ain't gonna make it? Who's no? Who do we know right now is not gonna make? I know I could call the Texans. Yeah. And I could. What yeah, about the, the Broncos? Colts? The Broncos, not the Colts, won't make it. The Four eight and one. That's yeah, rough. No, yeah, no, yeah. No, 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 the Colts won't make it. The Broncos won't make it. Okay. Um, the Raiders have a very slim chance. I don't think they're gonna make it. Yeah, yeah. Um, I don't think the Dolphins are gonna make it anymore. You know, because now they're starting to do what they do. But listen, like I tell you, no, not blood. not this week, not the week that they played y'all, but the week before that, I think Tua took a hit that really took the whole Dolphins out the, out the series. But listen to me. Um, Tua needs to realize and understand he has a twisted hip from college, you know, because he broke his hip in college, you know. So he already doesn't have a, yeah. enough torque to turn the ball the way he should. He's trying his utmost best. Kudos yeah, to him. that hit really took him out. Yeah, not the hit, not the hit, not the hit since he became a pro. You know, there was a hit when he was in Alabama. No, no, I know, I know. Mm-hmm. But what I'm saying is that the game two, three Sundays ago, not that mm-hmm. that hit. They, they they made a whole meme about it. Yeah, they, it looked like he was playing pork and somebody put a yabis on him. Yeah, I, that was a yeah. rough hit. Yeah. yeah, that's why I'm asking because it looked the game well the snippets. I tell you, my heart wasn't strong enough to watch the games these all all the games this week. This week, but it looked like defense, defensive play in, defensive strategy is what's winning games this year. So I say to all of those quarterbacks out there, look here, y'all, please be safe. Say a, I say in a prayer. I need to shore up their offensive line. Man. Yes, offense. That's what it is. That's what it is because uh, these quarterbacks don't look safe going into playoff season. They don't look safe at all. Okay, it's NBA time. Yeah. Suns have slipped to number five. Okay. In the Western Conference. Okay, yeah. Every team goes through highs and lows during yeah. the season. Aiden is hurt right now. Yeah, yeah. Um, he should be back by the next game. He's 24 years old. He, he rolled his ankle, slight sprain, yeah. slight left ankle Rest it, take care yeah, of it, get back care, on the court. Up, yeah. yeah. Ice it down. You know, he'll be all right. He should be on the court next game. Lakers are number 12. Yeah, they're moving up. <laughs> yeah, it's a good yeah, thing. Up. 11 and 16. Yeah, they're moving up. Uh, yeah, when- they lost the other night to the Celtics. I, boy, tell you. Strange game. Yeah. Really strange game. Because they were down by 20, then you're up by 13, and you're still losing overtime. Listen, is 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 keeping Westbrook, and like you say, having him lead that second team, mm-hmm. is that going to be good in the long run? Westbrook may not have what it takes to compete on a first a string, but can he lead that second string to be a real formidable force for the Lakers? He can. The problem is, though, honestly, is yeah. Darvin Ham, the head coach. That game against the Celtics showed yeah. and proved that to me. He kept LeBron and AD in the game too long. He letting them fellas decide, hey, no coach, no coach, no, we staying in. No, you need to come and have a breather. Right now we have a four-point lead. That's at least maybe maybe about a minute and a half worth of rest that they uh-huh. could have gotten. If if indeed, you know, the Lakers don't score twice and the Celtics score twice and you got to sub them right back in. The point is, you have a minute and a half to sit down, catch your breath, Catch a drink of Gatorade, you know? Yeah. Gather your thoughts, let your muscles cool off just a little. And if you must get back in the game, then so be it. I got you. He didn't let these fellas rest. So by the time the fourth quarter and overtime came around, there was nothing left in the tank. Yeah. That there was is. Nothing left uh, in the tank. Like, if somebody needs to have a, have a come to Jesus moment with Darvin Ham and say, listen, Braun, although he looks good, has been doing this for 20 years. Yeah, yeah. You know, 80, of course, is a glass house. So, so be careful with be that. Be careful with him. So yeah, listen, this is this is interesting. First of all, I grow up the neighborhood I grew up in mm-hmm. is the Lakers and Celtics. Straight right? through. Right, that's it. That's the in fact I don't think we even recognize any other teams. <laughs> um and so even when I not pull in for the Lakers, I pull in for the Lakers, right? Mm-hmm. This is hurting my heart. And it's making me think that this is really more about a lack of chemistry than a lack of talent. So they I have f- a lack of shooting, too. Yeah. Like, when they hot, they hot. But boy, when they cold, boy. It's just horrible. Boy, so look here. Cold. I found this article. 2022 NBA rookies who already look like draft day steals, right? 
why it st stuck out to me was Andrew Nemhard from the Indiana Pacers is on this list. Yeah. Right? Now it makes sense. He won the game uh, buzzer. Buzzer beater. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, his stats are great. And apparently in this game against the Golden State Warriors, they just played he, Steph, Curry, Steph Curry, hitting the two-time MVP with the types of brash, fearless shots he usually visits on demoralized opponents, yeah, right? Steph, so Steph I, playing his like, heart out, man. I sort of juxtaposing that against uh, Buddy's play, right? And Buddy is still performing. Every night. And this little boy came in, and he's starring while Buddy is still putting up big numbers, right? And that Every suggests night. to me chemistry is working yeah. on that team. And yeah. I feel like Buddy... Buddy's leading by example. Yeah, Buddy is the boy who's driving that chemistry mm -hmm. on that team. A humble boy that humble know beginnings. Yeah. if things don't work out, I could go home and become the chief general warden of the beach and clean the beach and don't stress about this game in that sense, right? Like, I'm not going to disadvantage. I'm not going to hog up the court mm -hmm. because I need to be here. I can pull back. Right, he does what's necessary yeah. to put his team in a position to win. Yeah, and that's why I think the Pacers are not going to trade him, even though the they Lakers should. look like they need to trade uh, oh, Westbrook. Oh they, oh, they should. Oh, they really should. They really should bring in Buddy Heal for Westbrook. That's, that's my bottom line. And yeah. A, and, a, and a good rim protector. I got you. Which is also a part of the package deal. I got you. Now, listen, just before we go... Jonquel Jones just, I mean, she, look here, she is in Turkey, I think. Uh, and she's in Turkey, and she is in a Euro League, the FIBA Euro League, and she just beaten them bad. And my question now is, why is she not performing like this in the WNBA? Is it because there's too many stars like her, and it's difficult to get the board and to occupy that space? Is it that, like a Bahamian, when she sees a weaker team, that she's lead, she step up because she knows she got to lead this team? Well, I you know mean, what I'm saying? she plays ball in Connecticut, which yeah. is going to be a hard place for, for, for the media to showcase as a, you know, as a town to come to. She played for the L.A. Sparks or maybe the Chicago Sky. Ah, greater energy in yeah. the stadium. Yeah. 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 Anyway, Jonquel, we see you. Man. You out there beating it bad. Yeah, You're Good still stuff. an example for the local women players. Don't mind that we didn't get to that tournament. You keep doing that and we can keep doing this. Mr. Sawyer. Hey. Rest well. I shan't. Perhaps don't be. Ten days. Definitely Ten days not twice in a row. Ten days of Good rest. Dolphins, we are pulling for you. Cold Steelers, Cowboys. Cowgirls. Cowgirls. Girls. Girls. And 49ers. Girls. You're looking at all your division. You're we got to go. Your girls. CA Nuri is Niner Gang Boy. Next. Niner Gang Guardian Radio AM. You ain't looking bang, too shabby. Bang. You ain't looking, looking too shabby. shabby boy, all. listen to me. No team one Producer, players. Producer, cut him. No team one players. Cut him. I can't take the right hand. Be too healthy. You guys have a great day out there. Have a great weekend.